fine welcome back to my channel thank you so much for returning back here if you are a returning subscriber god bless you for your support but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell it is down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you will always enjoy every content that i upload in this channel so beautiful friends in our today's video it's going to be hot 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 <laughs> because i'm going to be sharing with you things to do and things not to do when you find the one on online dating apps we imagine this guy is good 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 all boxes tick 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 so what to do to make that relationship work what to do to make that man marry you because the truth is guys for a relationship to work both of you should put efforts not only the guy most of you have been doing this mistake and that is why i am here to rescue you guys because <laughs> you find a guy on online dating apps he is good has got good intentions with you but due to the things that i'm going to be discussing with you you make that man run and some of you have been praying god please bring the right man in my life so we imagine god has brought that man now what are you going to do to make that relationship work what are you going to do to make that marriage happen <laughs> because guys it just doesn't happen like that <laughs> you have to put efforts there are things that you need to do for a man to marry you no matter you are very beautiful just like a supermodel <laughs> if you don't do these things or if you do them the wrong way then that man is going to run you will chat and chat and chat remain the online girlfriend he will never marry you at the end of the day he's just gonna give up and find another woman who will do the things that i'm going to be sharing with you the right thing that will lead to marriage so without wasting much of your time guys let us jump into this video so friends my tip number one i'm going to be starting with what i promised you last time when i shared the success story i told you i'm going to be talking about social media comparison i think this is not the first time talking about this but today i'm going a little bit deeper because this has been killing lots of relationships even if i talked about it but still people have been continuing comparing their relationships to what they see on social media so i want to talk to you dear sister guys stop comparing your relationships with the couples that you see on social media please please because everyone is blessed differently and every relationship is different my own marriage can't be the same like your own marriage oh so at the time when i was dating my husband the way our relationship was can't be the same with your relationship now it's totally different so there is no need for you to compare people have got different lives people have been through a lot maybe before they succeeded so you can't just go around social media and start comparing your relationship with your relationship stop comparing your man with the men that you see on social media especially you ladies that are interested in interracial dating so you see an interracial couple on social media then you want to copy everything that that couple is doing you want to see those things in your man men are different guys i sat here i did a video whereby i discussed men from different countries how they behave their culture their traditions and also i insisted that yes i have discussed men let's say from italy it doesn't mean everything i said about men from italy you will find the man that will be exactly like that if you find him like that you remember my video but if you find him differently then it's okay people are different stop comparing so with this i want to give you an example of a lady who almost lost the one because of social media comparison i think from this you will learn something so friends there is this lady i have been helping for quite some time she was dating a guy online even before they met and i kept on giving her advice guidances 
telling her do this do that so that your relationship can work i even remember there is a time she came asked me bella i need to know if this guy is the one i told her let us put him on a test and if he passes that test then he is the one so she had to put him on a test and the guy passed guys after the guy passing everything went well they kept on meeting this guy went to africa three times they have met and also invited this lady to his country two times so they have met five times in total so they kept on dating but this girl was on social media everywhere guys let it be instagram let it be tiktok youtube following interracial couples following ladies from her country who are married to white men so what this lady could do could watch those couples on social media then take everything that she has seen go and implement them in her relationship so you know guys yes you come for me for an advice but it's not that i'm going to be talking with you every day or asking you all the time how is it going <laughs> so sometimes a lady comes asks you for an advice and then disappear for two three months five months and maybe when things are not going well they return back to ask you for an advice so at the time this lady was obsessing with the interracial couples that she sees on social media didn't tell me anything at all but when things went bad that is when she returned to me was like bella i need to talk to you i didn't tell you about this but i need help because my man just called me he's telling me that he is about to give up on our relationship so that is when i asked her what is going on why tell me so what she told me was like bella we have been fighting all these five times that we have met something that is making my boyfriend worry because he says if he marries me we will keep on fighting because we haven't done anything we don't talk much about our relationship it's only fighting and fighting and you know guys when you come to me i don't judge if you want an advice from me i have to listen to you careful so that i know where the problem is <laughs> So I asked her, why do you guys fight all the time? I know you love each other, but why do you fight? So she told me, you know, from the start, when we first met, I thought he was going to propose to me, but he never proposed. We kept on meeting each other, but this guy is not proposing and he is not even planning to marry me. So this has been frustrating me a lot and I've been telling him, why he is not proposing because you know in our african culture engagement is very very important a man coming to see my parents it's very very important plus i've been seeing on social media these black women who meet white men and within a month within two months they get proposed they get married why is that for him it is becoming so difficult to propose it is becoming very difficult to marry me so guys normally if you don't have enough experience in these things you will think this white man is a problem <laughs> but for me guys i didn't see it that way that is why i had to ask our sister if she is doing the right thing if she is doing what is needed for a man to marry her if she is pampering this man if she is treating him good if she is building their relationship because that is very very important for a man to marry you he has to see a lot of things in you special things that he has never seen in any woman a man needs peace of mind a man needs positivity from the woman he is dating a man needs to be pampered you have to treat him good when he sees all those things in you he won't resist you he will not want to live his life without you and that's when he's gonna marry you so when i asked her she started laughing <laughs> So she was like, I think my sister Bella, I am doing it wrong. Because for me, I have been obsessing. I'm so obsessed 
with interracial couples that I see on social media, how they get engaged very fast, how they get married very fast. So I was expecting that from my boyfriend, but it did not happen. And for it not to happen, I have been like tormenting this guy every time that we meet that he should engage me that he should marry me i told her how can you ask a man to engage you how can you ask a man to marry you she said you are right i was so so wrong and this is all to social media i'm telling you right now i think i'm going to be deleting instagram yes i told her if you think it will do you good delete it stop comparing your relationship with the relationships that you see on social media build yours because that is your life that is your happiness so i'm talking to you dear beautiful ladies that stop comparing and right now good news is that she talked to that man because the man loved her very very much after talking to the guy telling the guy her mistakes and where she went wrong the guy was like okay we can continue with our relationship it's not that i never wanted to marry you no i want to marry you that is why i have been with you that's my intention but when we meet the only thing you talk about is engagement and marriage at some point i was like why is she forcing a lot marriage you know guys we are from different continents and sometimes when we are with these white men they want to see how genuine we are they are scared to be used for documents to stay in europe or in america wherever part of the world let it be canada australia they are very scared so that is why if a man is serious wants to marry he want to see that you are really genuine and you are with him because you truly love him when he sees that that's when he will marry you so dear friends if you think that you are like this lady you always compare your relationship with the relationships that you see on social media stop it build your relationship and you who is searching for love online i want to give you a tip when it comes to social media follow interracial couples that you think you learn something from them they motivate you they inspire you but for those interracial couples that brings negative thoughts into your mind you start comparing yourselves to them or they make you feel unlucky they make you feel sad i advise you to unfollow so guys i am still on social media i told you i'm going to go more deeper <laughs> into this because it's very very important so one time i was talking with a lady i've been helping her on online dating apps and she told me bella i ask you to go on tiktok because on tiktok exist lots of tiktokers who talks about interracial dating so she was telling me one scenario that one time was on tiktok watching this guy he's white talks about interracial dating but what was happening in there there were lots of black women admiring that white man at some point that white man started mocking them because these ladies were like oh i love you i want to be with you then this guy was like but for me i don't love you how can you love me you don't even know me so this lady was telling me bella please talk to ladies to stop being desperate stop praising white men because a white man is a man just like any other man of any color what matters is the mind <laughs> the maturity yes so i feel so so sad to see how women are so desperate praising that guy that is even mocking them i told her you know what my sister i have a lot of things on my table i cannot go to tiktok yes i have an account on tiktok but i am not active oh my god i'm super super busy but i pray one day i go on tiktok and i start you know putting my content out there so that i can help more women that is why guys please please keep sharing my videos as much as you can so there is another lady too i was talking to and she talked to me about tiktok she was like 
there are some tiktokers especially black women married to white men who are misleading our black sisters on social media concerning the whole thing of dating a white man so she gave me an example was like one time she was watching this tiktoker telling black women that how can you marry a white man that is still living in a renting apartment how can you date a white man that doesn't have a fancy car <laughs> i laughed a lot i was like seriously someone saying that that is very very wrong guys people are blessed differently i repeat not all white men are rich some white men are just living normal life and it doesn't mean if you get married to a rich white man then you're gonna live happy some are very very evil so guys you really need to be careful and be intelligent enough not to follow such kind of an advice because if you follow an advice like that that is when you'll find a white guy he is a very good man has got good intentions of marrying you then you start demanding things that he cannot afford do you think that man is going to marry you he is not gonna marry you because he will see you are too much for him he can't handle you instead of wanting a white man who is rich concentrate on building yourself concentrate on investing yourself so that you can be successful please please dear sisters i'm saying this out of love and for the experience that i have this will work just follow the advice <laughs> <laughs> if you want <laughs> so something else i had on social media <laughs> one time i received a dm from a lady she was so down was like bella i don't know what to do all my life my dream is to marry a white man i've been watching this lady she's saying that 90 percent of black women married to white men they are unhappy white men are so racist white men are so so bad they take you to use you as the slave they treat you bad once they marry you <laughs> actually this lady is fighting to rescue black women married to white men and she told me there were lots of testimonies from black women who got married to white men and they were treated very very bad so right now i don't know what to do it was my dream but i am very very confused please advise me on what to do <laughs> i really laughed a lot and i told her that you have been watching my videos on youtube for me guys you know the truth in this channel i always share with you the good and bad and if a lady gets married to a white man things goes bad i'm going to tell you in two details of what happened where the lady went wrong if you're going to get married to a white man because he is white just because of his color you get blinded he has been giving you some few dollars and then you are like i'll phone the one then get married after that you go to his country he starts treating you badly are we going to blame that white man we are not going to blame that white man we will blame you because it's you who ignored the red flags that is why i have been here guys to talk to you so that you can be careful find yourselves in the hands of the right white man if you're gonna get married to a white man or in the hands of the right man yes that is why i am here if we go through all the stories that i told you bad stories of ladies that dated these white men and things went wrong and sometimes when i'm on premiere we are premiering a video i see how you guys can pick their red flags be like she did wrong here she did wrong here that one makes me happy to see that you guys can pick out the red flags so instead of listening to that lady who is saying that all white men are bad 90 percent of black women married to white men are unhappy or those ladies that their stories didn't work with white men it's the white men that had the fault it's not true guys always try to see a story on both sides her side and his side unfortunately when the story goes bad especially those black women who went to testify on her channel i don't know if it's on her channel or on tiktok they don't say the truth how that relationship started 
still when it ended because a guy don't just change overnight no <laughs> there are red flags that is what i believe so they go there and start saying this white man was bad he did this he did that but when you started the relationship did you watch the red flags did you so i talked to that lady i was like no for you just keep on searching for a white man that you wanted but watch the red flags so that you can find yourself in the right hands so that you can be on the safer side so to close this topic concerning social media please concentrate on your life leave other people's lives there on social media <laughs> For me guys, you know, I have followed people that I know they inspire me. I have followed people that I know I can relate. I have followed people that makes me feel positive on social media. That's it. If I follow someone and I don't feel positive, I see someone throwing shades all the time. <laughs> That's not my thing. I just unfollow. <laughs> so you should do the same. Concentrate on your life. Build your relationship. If it is to search for love, keep searching for love what you see on social media should just stay there on social media if it doesn't make you a positive person <laughs> tip number two you have to do what it needs to get married just like i said in the previous tip that i gave you you have to make a man feel positive he has to feel safe he has to feel like he can trust you he has to feel that you pamper him he has to feel happy when he is with you so you can not just be there you're not pampering this guy you are not making him happy all the time you are nagging and expect this guy to marry you he will never marry you so please please do the right thing but when i say do the right thing it's not that you go out there and start sending your nude pictures to him <laughs> thinking that maybe it is the way of pampering him. No, please don't lose your dignity just because you want marriage. It won't work, guys. You have to show a guy you have dignity. You have to show a guy you are independent. You have to show a guy you are strong. You have to show a guy that he can rely on you. He can depend on you no matter what. When a guy sees that, he will definitely get married to you. Tip number three, you have to study a guy you are dating. That is why I told you there is no need to compare your man with another man. It's you that is dating that guy. It's you that knows him very well. And if you don't know him very well, then invest time to get to know him well. Cause once you know him well, you know what he likes, what he doesn't like, and then you concentrate on more positive things, especially the things that he likes. This is a tip to you guys that are in a long distance relationship, chatting with a guy and you see he is the one. Once you know the things that he likes, then you start doing those things. But again, no sending nude pictures. <laughs> but there are more other things that a guy likes in a woman. So once you know them, then you do those things and that is when you will drive him crazy girl. <laughs> And that's when he will propose and get married to you. So study a guy you are dating. I told you, for example, men from Scandinavia, they don't marry that fast. I told you. Though not all, but majority is that they take time before they trust someone. They take time before they marry you. So if you're dating a guy from that Heart, and then you see it's taking long for him to propose or to get married to you don't be like why is that bella got married in three weeks after meeting their boyfriend <laughs> no guys you have to be patient because you have studied that man you know how he does things and to add on this if you're dating a guy let's say this guy is from greece or spain or america get to research how life can be in america it is very very important 
because this same same lady i gave you an example was dating a guy from a certain country and then they were discussing something about money out of nowhere this lady told the guy you are stingy but the guy told her it's not that i am stingy no it's because life here can be expensive Expensive if you compare it with Africa. So if this lady had done a research of how life can be in that European country, she couldn't have told the boyfriend that you are stingy. Get to know how life is and when your boyfriend comes to know that you have researched, you know how life can be, he will know you are such an intelligent woman, you are a woman to marry because you are so understanding. Tip yes. number four on what to do when you find the one on online dating apps and what not to do when you find him this guy all boxes tick 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 <laughs> he treats you good and he has even invited you in his country introduced you to the parents friends took you shopping <laughs> all that you should be appreciative don't take this guy for granted even if something you see it's very very small always be appreciative i remember there is a lady i was helping and then was dating a guy online a guy used to send her money then i could ask her did you say thank you she was like should i <laughs> Do I need to say thank you? I was like, yes, you should say thank you. Because he worked for that money that he sent you. So same, same lady that I gave you an example. The guy has invited her to his country two times, took her shopping, introduced her to the family, to the friends. But still, because she was concentrating on the engagement was not appreciative and the guy complained about it you don't appreciate whatever i do i've even invited you here it's money but you don't appreciate and i agree guys a guy to invite you it is not just a simple thing like a guy inviting you for dinner out no it's a lot of responsibility we can see from the last story time that i shared with you whereby dorin was invited by rush to Norway and then got a problem with her leg, started using a wheelchair, took her to the hospital, they spent lots of money. So a guy inviting you in his country, we are talking of good men, it really means a lot and it's a lot of responsibility. If something happens to you, that's all up to him. He's gonna be in trouble, that is why you've been chatting with some guys when it comes the time of inviting you, they run because they can't handle all that stress. They are not responsible. So we should always be very, very appreciative even of small things. Tip number five on things to do when you find the one on online dating apps and things not to do. Guys, respect is very, very important in a relationship. But don't expect a guy to respect you and then you don't respect him. What do I mean? Maybe you argue about something and then from nowhere you start using bad language on this guy. If he sees that in you, dear sister, no marriage. And there's some guys, how they were raised, they were raised to respect people's feelings so there are some words he cannot utter them to you because he can't hurt your feelings and he is doing that so that you can do the same respect him do not hurt his feelings so no matter how angry you are no matter how much you fight we are not perfect never ever disrespect him never ever utter out words that will hurt him because some words even hurt than a person beating you and they stay here you can never forget them so please please no matter you are used you know to utter out very bad words when you get angry if you get yourself into a relationship with a guy who is good, he is the one, please don't make him run just because of that. Tip number six on what to do when you find the one on online dating apps and what not to do when you find the one on online dating apps. As much as you have to be loyal to the one, you have to stand on your grounds and show him that you are strong, you can stand on your grounds, 
you know you're right. Because when a man sees that in you, he's gonna love that. Trust me, you'll find a guy talking to his friends, saying that, oh, my girlfriend is such a strong woman. She has changed my life. She has shown me the way. Even there is a story time coming soon of a lady who found love on online dating apps. But this guy was living with the parents. At the time, they started chatting. But because of the girlfriend, this guy has moved out of the parents' house. Now he is independent, living alone. And he is very, very appreciative of that. Then a lady who chats with a guy on online dating apps, yes, everything is good, good, good. The only problem, he is still living with the parents. But because she is a yes girl, doesn't want to make this guy angry, cannot even propose that if you want to be with me, you have to move out of your parents' house first. <laughs> You can't do that. So when a guy sees that in you, doesn't see any positive changes in him since he started dating you online. <laughs> the only thing that has changed his life has been even complicated the more. <laughs> <laughs> he's not gonna marry you girl so guys show a guy that you can stand on your grounds and he's gonna respect you he won't run away at all <laughs> he's gonna stick with you tip number seven on what to do and what not to do when you find the one on online dating apps so that that relationship can work which will lead to marriage when you find the one on online dating apps please please do not relax because some of you when you find the one the guy is good he's so sweet he spoils you you reach to an extent of resigning from your jobs you are like i'm gonna stay at home watch tv and then i will wait he invites me or get married to me then i live a soft life so what you do is take his money then stay at home watch tv or go hang out and start stalking this guy on the phone all the time you want to communicate to this guy because you don't have anything to do you start creating drama guys if you do that that man will never marry you at all so if you find the one no matter how this guy is very kind he spoils you please please get yourself busy if you had a job keep doing your job if you had a business keep on with your business don't just relax <laughs> So to add something there, because I talked of him sending you money, please, I repeat, I've said this I don't know how many times. Don't ask men money on online dating apps. I told you in Swahili, kufa na shida Don't give all your problems to this guy. He will be like, if I wasn't with you, what could you have done? And some guys have got money, but they will take care of you. They will spoil you once they get married to you. So that is why I told you, you need to have something that you are doing, something that will bring income into your account every month so that you can survive, so that your relationship can be a healthy one. Not a relationship that you chat today, then the next day it is asking money, asking money, asking money. No dear beautiful friends, don't mix love with money. Because these days, black women especially go on online dating apps to search for white men just because they want to get money from them. And white men these days, they know that most black women are after money. That is why it has been very difficult to find love on online dating apps due to that. So you need to stop. Stop asking men money. Look for love. If a guy truly loves you, will send you money without being asked. This has been said by most ladies who found love on online dating apps and their stories are successful ones. So we should follow them so that we can be successful. Tip number eight, this will be a bit different <laughs> on what to do when you find the one or what not to do when you find the one on online dating apps. But with this, I'm going to say that for you to know if the guy is the one, you really need to know 
how to differentiate a guy who is the one and the guy who isn't the one. I did a video on how to know if the guy is the one, if the guy is serious. Cause you can be on online dating apps, chatting with different men. <laughs> and cause you don't know how to differentiate, you make this man run away. So first of all, work on how to know if the guy is the one on online dating apps. It's very, very important. But also I am here guys for you. If you're chatting with a guy, you don't understand, you don't know how to differentiate, if a guy is serious or not, write to me, then we discuss about it. I'm gonna let you know, cause I know how to differentiate a guy who is serious and a guy who is just playing games. So, so friends, I've got loads of tips for you but for today we are going to stop here this is the last tip and it is very very important so we imagine you have been on online dating apps searching for love you have been praying to god god please bring that right man in my life and voila god blesses you with the right man he is a good guy you have checked all red flags no red flags at all everything is going in the right direction this guy is crazily in love with you so what you need to do and what you don't need to do so that your relationship can work lead to marriage don't let your family especially if you know your family is a broken one because some families guys are not good they are so broken i've been seeing things so if you know your family is a broken one don't let it come in between you and some of you will be like bella how will i know my family is broken we imagine you found a white guy and then they start telling you ask this guy money oh you know guys we have this culture and tradition we Africans of paying the bride price. You see your family setting a very high bride price to make this guy not marry you, to make it impossible <laughs> for your relationship to work. When you see things like that, you know that your family is a broken one. But sometimes, maybe in the past, you have seen how they've been doing things and you know it is a broken family. So a family like that, keep it away from the one. Keep it away from your relationship. I told you also, if you want advice, instead of going to ask advice from your sister who doesn't have any idea of how online dating world can be, better ask someone who has got experience. It doesn't have to be Bella. Exist lots of other ladies, lots of other couples that have got enough experience when it comes to online dating. So if you know your family is a broken one, oh my God, keep your relationship away from it. If it is possible, keep everything for yourself. Or if you have anyone in the family, even if it is one person that really understands you, that you know really loves you from the heart, you can share your relationship with that person. But listening to whatever your family tells you, including going against your boyfriend, <laughs> no guys, when they tell you something, put it on a measurement and decide. Don't just take everything that they tell you. I told you that some families are broken. I remember last year, there is a story I shared with you of a Pakistan lady who was living here in Italy with her parents, then met a guy on TikTok. He was from Pakistan too. They fell in love, but this girl, the parents had planned the arranged marriage with her cousin in Pakistan. So after her being in love with the guy that she met on TikTok, the parents were very, very angry about it and she knew it but they had planned to get married with this guy so she went to her parents house so that they can give her her documents the passports and everything which could have allowed them to get married so when she arrived there do you know what they did guys Oh my God, it is so heartbreaking. Including the mother of that girl, they put her in a trap at night and then took her life. The mother, the father, the uncle, the cousin, all were there taking her life just because she went against the family will of wanting to get married 
to that Pakistan guy, not the cousin that they had planned when she was little. Because they say the cousin in Pakistan is very, very rich. So, can you tell me that family is not broken? It's a broken one. What kind of a mother? What kind of a family? So last time I told you that her body was not found, but after arresting the brother who was there when they were taking her life, he confessed and that is when he said where the body was. So the body was found this year, but they checked for that body for the whole year. Oh my God, it's such a shocking news, a very sad one. But I'm telling you all of this to show you how some family can be very, very broken. So you should be very, very careful when you find love and you know your family is a broken one. Keep it away from your relationship, I repeat. And I also talked about to keep away your relationship from friends. Yes, we can't all have bad friends. Some of us are blessed to have very loyal, genuine friends. But if you know that, you have your friends, yes, they tell you they love you, they show that they really love you as their friend, and then you find a white guy, let's take an example, you start the visa process, then you start to see some drama <laughs> from your friends, that's a red flag. From that time, protect your relationship. Don't let them know anything till you are sure you are getting married. <laughs> yeah, that is the better way because some friends can be very, very evil, especially when they know that you are about to succeed because before succeeding they can be with you even cry with you when you are in problems but once you are about to smile you are about to be happy they start being so dramatic <laughs> so be very very careful please please i've seen so many relationships not going forward because of friends i even also remember shared with you a story of a lady who used to get lots of money from the white guy and could spoil friends but when that guy left her they laughed at her it is only me who didn't even know this girl so much that was helping her so that shows how some friends can be so dear friends i really hope you enjoyed this video you learned something if you did please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too they are super good comment below what you think about this video until next time guys i love you so much you're always here in my heart ciao ciao